Hi, my name's Andy Davis, Director of Corporate Marketing. We're here at Synaptics booth and I'm showing off right now the latest technology which is utilizing a mobile phone connecting to a display link dock to get you a full desktop environment. Now what's really unique about this is that we all have PCs today and we generally take a PC to work, but we also still carry a mobile phone. Wouldn't it be great if we could go to an environment where the mobile phone covers everything? We only actually have to carry one device. So this is like a Pixel 9? This is a Pixel, this is the latest Pixel, yep. So, you know, these phones now have the technology and the capability and the horsepower to be able to do a real compute environment. So we've arrived now at a, at a junction in time where this really could act as a PC. But it's limited with a lot of technologies today to be able to connect out maybe only to one display. So you modified the software, the, the OS? Today, yes. So today what we've done is we've modified this. This is an a, what we call an AOSP build, right? So we've modified the software to enable it to, dis, to talk to our display chips to get you a full dual screen environment. So what you can see here is two full landscape desktop environments, the same as you would on a PC. We can move this around. We can full screen things. Um, this is the environment you'd normally be used to operating with a PC. Now, of course, because we've got things like Bluetooth on a phone, we've still got USB through the dock, we can have a keyboard, we can have a mouse, as you just did, moving the mouse environment between these. This is a seamless environment, the same as you would have when you're normally using a desktop PC or a, or a laptop PC, but obviously through a mobile phone. So the, the real direction we're trying to take here is that you know, either the mobile phone vendors could bring in a, a, a corporate controlled, a, a, a build controlled for their environment that gives them differentiation to be able to do this. Or we could work with companies like Google, obviously, and introduce this so that it would be available for all phones. Nice. And then uh, you, you have the, the UI. It might be uh, like, it, it depends what people will be able to do, hopefully. The future will be a bunch of uh, desktop optimized apps. So yeah, I mean, this very much could be phone specific, you know, so different phone vendors could introduce different technologies to enable things to do. But you're right in terms of the apps today are developed for a phone. And that phone environment is a portrait environment. When you go to browser apps, a lot of enterprise apps today work through a browser. So in a browser environment, you don't have to worry because that naturally will scale. But obviously, apps over time, this can now open up a new opportunity for a value add play that apps can work in a full desktop environment. Nice. It'd be nice to, because I, I think they're already, what's it called, they're doing uh, foldable phone UIs, and they're thinking about more and more productivity in terms of app development. And yeah. maybe some could have, let's imagine, like remote desktop, uh, with the full Windows and Linux apps on remote desktop or? RDP wouldn't be a problem. So in an RDP environment, we could absolutely run that. That would give, I mean, the power's in the cloud and you're downloading everything from the cloud. But you know, what we really want to get to here, I think is a step one, is enabling this to be a full PC environment. Um, and that's exactly what we're demonstrating here. After that, you know, the world's your oyster, right? We can open up so many different areas. So this Android phone, this uh, Pixel 9, is doing three displays right now. Itself? And Itself two. plus two external displays, yes, absolutely. And What's the limit? Um, at the moment with phones, it's just two. But that's something that we could look at going because forward. Because you want to do the internal, of course, keep it on. Exactly. And do your phone stuff. Now, critical thing about this, when you think about it, when you're in a productivity environment with a phone, a phone is still a portable device. So what we don't want to do is, is you know, take away the battery power. So the connection that you see here, not only is that giving us data, but that's also powering the phone. So you can so it's imagine. fully charged when you're done work. Precisely. So in the future, you know, the docking environment that we've got here with the display technology could be integrated into a uh, a cradle. So that cradle could give you wireless charging. You could drop the phone onto a wireless charging cradle and still have the data. We already, we've already shown the world wireless docking, right? Which we did a year or two years ago. So, and we have obviously as part of Synaptic's portfolio, our Veros connectivity range. So if we wanted to do wireless, we still have that ability as well, built in as part of Synaptics' solutions. But the wireless displays, that's a different thing, right? It would, it, so it would be connected from the dock to the display by a cable, so HDMI yeah. or, or display port. But then from the device to the dock, it could be either wire or wireless. So the same cable can totally charge? Yes. So maybe you just charge your phone when you're by the desk because you need to anyway. Yeah. But actually the phone runs the full desktop. 
Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, you really want the phone to still be charged. You don't want to walk away from an environment with a phone that doesn't have so much power because otherwise you lose the mobile benefits. So, you know, having the ability to be able to charge from the dock to the phone whilst you're taking the data through the dock to the displays, it's a lot of convenience. Display Link Pro. Display Link Pro. Display Link Pro is our latest technology. So our 7000 series, for those who are familiar with the Display Link technology, our Display Link 7000 series is what's enabled in this particular docking station. And we call that the Display Link Pro series. And what's the performance on this phone? Um, there's not really a limitation in terms of the phone connecting out today. But I think in terms of, I mean, you, you can see from interactivity wise, you're not really seeing you know, lag or anything like that. But this is very early. So this is like fact, a high-end laptop from five, six years ago. It's it's probably around a five series, yeah, something like that. But you know, the reality is, I think there's still optimizations that we can do here to take the performance even higher. Nice. It's really a question of apps, I guess, uh, because it seems super smooth, and the, the the codec, the the whole display link performance is really good. Uh, and the, the question is just optimizing the software a little bit. It, it really is. So I think you know this is a great demonstrator of what we can do with the technology and how that could change the environment for us to just be carrying a mobile phone in the future. If you think about that from an enterprise perspective, that actually delivers you a lot of benefits. So an enterprise doesn't necessarily have to manage so many devices. If you can only manage mobile phones for all of your users, the cost of entry from an enterprise, instead of buying laptops to deploy for everybody, it's considerably better because it's just mobile phones. The cost of managing data becomes a lot easier because you're only managing one device. And then you're simplifying the ability for people to access their data, to access their work environments, just using a mobile phone. Nice. So what's next? You need to have some meetings with the, the guys who do the phones? Absolutely. So you know, we'll be taking this on the road. We'll be showcasing this to the key mobile phone vendors. We'll be showcasing this to Google. Um, looking at how we can then move this forward to the next steps. And we, we've been talking about this for like nearly, kind of like a decade. <laughs> and and uh, what's the chance that maybe an Android update or a certain level of Android or something, any phone could have this? I because most of the phones on the market right now have the physical bandwidth required or whatever you need on the USB port I, I think to be able to do that. A right? lot of the challenges have now gone. So when we first showcased, we first did this maybe six years ago. Um, but we were really ahead of our time then. And a lot of the phones had various different interfaces on them. There was micro USB, there was USB. This was before USB-C even came along. And with the micro USB, there was not enough bandwidth on it the port? It was not and so easy, right. So now everything we're going to USB-C. USB-C is giving you the capability to be able to do charging, be able to do data. It's much more uniform connection-wise. We've already got USB-C on the docking solution, so that's already fully ratified from the solutions perspective. So I think now it's just a lot easier to be able to go forwards with that. But of course, the other side of the coin is the phones are now much more powerful as well. So the moons are starting to align, if you put it like that, in terms of where the technology can go from here. And then um, some phones, like from Samsung, do the display port on over the Type-C and Huawei also a little bit, and they, they've done a little bit of desktop modes, but this potentially could bring this to all the way from lower end, mid-range, higher end phones. It, it absolutely can. And, and I think the point you raise here is that whilst it's possible with some phones today to be able to connect out, maybe get a single display, or maybe get a clone display, we, it really hasn't broken through the environment to have been able to get that multi-display productivity environment which, you know, if you think about enterprises, that's what everybody really wants to have. So what we're really showing as differentiation here is the dual screen, full independent screens, full desktop mode environment for you to be able to work with. Nice. All right, I'm really looking forward to, to this ultimate dream becoming reality because everybody's carrying way too much performance in the pockets and they're not taking advantage of these beautiful ARM processors. Right. People have in the pocket, you can do the full productivity. And, and we don't need to carry around so many devices. Just a mobile phone can be everything for the future.